All right, lads, welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to do a poster in celebration of the Argentine win over the All Black. Uh, it was the first victory ever in their history, so this is obviously deserves some commemoration. I decided to go with a design where the Argentinians themselves are fighting off a imposing figure of Sam Kane and the All Blacks doing a hack it, as I feel that gets across the idea of Argentina going into this where the inferior team where the All Blacks were the giants meant to be taken down. A David Goliath sort of standard. Okay so now I'm going to do the speed out of it and I'm going to talk through how I did this stuff that I did, why I did them and what the ideas behind are doing them. If you like this sort of stuff subscribe to the channel, it's full of sports graphic design stuff where I do, I can update logos, jerseys, uh, social medias or speed arts like this and different other projects. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so of course we're always gonna start up by removing the edges from the players. It's a very boring process. It's the exact same thing. I have the soft round brush and 90%. You should always do it that way in my mind using a layer mask and we're just gonna go over it all. So you can have a look at me, do the first player and then I'm just gonna skip through all the other ones because there's plenty of elements in this one to go through. Okay, so what you can see here is I'm making a big dominant player in Sam Kane doing a hack. I want him towering over the Argentinian players because basically they're such a big thing. And then I have the captain and king of the game, Pablo Matera, in the background, and I'm having him as half Puma. So what I'm gonna try and do is kind of try and blend this into the background with some dramatic shadows acting as if he's looking over and obviously using the developer sauna and all these different kind of techniques, we're gonna just fix the lighting on the pictures to make it dramatic, make it punchy, really make the bit come out. And what you can see me using there as a blending tool is a grungy brush to paint on the Jaguar's face to meld it in perfectly instead of having just a clean, boring split line. It adds a bit more texture and I think it is, it works really well in this scenario. Now we're basically going to be working on the lighting of the players in front and as I said before the Argentinian players are smaller, they're looking up, uh, they're looking at this immense beast that is the All Blacks which they eventually toppled in the end so they are no longer inferior to. But to help with the perspective of course we're going to add a Gaussian blur at some stage just to show a different perspective. I want Sam Kane to be the one that's completely in focus, he is the center point in this case and then the Argentinians in the front and Palomitaire in the back, they will eventually be blurred out just to take a little bit of focus away from them. Now at this point of it, when I'm turning the background blue because I wanted it to be part of the Pumas and the Pumas is very well recognized for its light blue coloring. I don't like how the face in the back is working when it's that small, so I enlarge it to try to fill it in more area, but as you can see, it causes a lot of noise. It is very messy. It's very busy, I can't get a lot of focus on a lot of things and I will be completely honest, this is so far not my favourite piece of work. It was a challenge to get it done, the idea did not come out as expected, but you can always expect that when you do work like this. I can imagine anyone out there who's watching who does this sort of graphic design has often ran into trouble of either brain block or your creativity just not being able to transpire into the page, whether you're drawing, doing graphic design like this, painting, it doesn't matter. There are always situations where you are not getting your ideas across properly, which is exactly what was happening to me in this image. We had to power through and create it because I need to do a video a week. And so I created a little bit of a drop shadow in behind Sam Kane just to make him stand out again from the back, make him so I can see him a bit easier and just know what's going on. And then I create some more dramatic shadows on the players in the front. Obviously it looks a bit ridiculous right now, a little bit too, bit too soft, but we're gonna drop the opacity this later. We, so we started off really harsh and then we're just gonna load the opacity, as you can see here, uh, to soften it out a bit and just make it okay. Personally for me, I think I should get more used to using curves uh, for shadowing tools, but here I'm still using the soft black brush because I still think that's a more than useful way, but curves might bring a 
bit more of a realistic finish. Of course, with the light bouncing off, I gave them a bit of a glow just to make them stand out a little bit because they are now after being blurred and just all light corrected. So we just want to give them just a little, a little bit more, just a little bit more something to make them stand out. And I always like a little bit of glow. Now to get to work on that background, to make the background look better, we mess with a couple of layer options like I always do, just to see what I can do with the light blue and the colour. And now we're going to try make this more black and white and blue was the idea I came up with, just to take the attention away from it while it's still being there. Of course it is a sharp image still but we will fix that soon with the use of the blur tool and the Gaussian blur and we're going to darken it up and make it even more dramatic to blend it into the background. Just so we want, we don't want the focus to be taken into the background here. The background, we want it to be there, but we do not want it to be main focus. We want Sam Kane here to be the main focus and the players in front. So what you're going to see here now is me adding lighting, adding colors, adding different kind of hues, just to get this right. So I'll, so I'll let you enjoy this and I'll come back to you near the end. Now you've been able to see the finished product right here and uh, there are plenty of cons in this image that I can talk about because this is not one of my most favorite pieces of work but you gotta power through, you gotta make the video, you gotta make the piece of art, you gotta produce, you gotta carry on no matter how bad you think it is. There might be someone out there thinking that this is one of the best things I've ever made. So we just gotta release this to the world, just be brave, just embrace it. But as dramatic as I made it, I made it kind of like a movie poster sort of aesthetic is what I ended up going for in the end. But I think I did do a good job in some aspects where it's like I'm matching that movie aesthetic. I am really getting across the idea that Sam Kane and the All Blacks are these big, massive presents that should be feared and that uh, these Argentinian players are looking up to and hoping to go against with the two players facing them. It looks like they're running towards the fight, which is exactly what I wanted. But it doesn't get across the part of the story where the Argentinians actually won bar maybe the giant Pablo Matera Jaguar thing in the background. That's a part of the story that I wanted to tell in this image. This just shows the, basically the prelude of it, of where they're going into fight. So unfortunately I dropped down a bit on that one. Maybe I could have made it a bit more looking like the All Blacks have been defeated, but we went with more of a introduction into the battle rather than the result of that battle. There were a lot of basic effects, so I expect any beginner to be able to do something similar to this. It was a lot of soft, simple brushes, maybe a custom brush for the grunge effects. You could use that any other kind of one. You could use fur brushes. Brush Easy is a perfect place to go get that sort of stuff. Uh, we just use some basic glow and a basic developer persona, and it's just a, then a bit of composition afterwards. Now I made this in a standard A3 format just so I'd be able to print it 
on the printer that I have here. Of course, go visit my website for posters that I can print up to A3 size. I have A4 options available, which are obviously a bit cheaper, and the delivery will vary depending on where you are. Free ship in Ireland, though. They come out with a result like this. Obviously, there's a bit of an imperfection on this one because it's double printed at the top, and that was my own fault. I wanted to see what would happen if I double printed. But it comes out this, I personally think it's quite detailed and I don't know if you'll be able to notice it, but it is quite a glossy laminated finish. Um, very good result. Now, if you like this piece of artwork, of course, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel where I post a video at least once a week. Hopefully I can up that to two a week, but we see where we go. I have a real job to do and obviously follow me on Instagram where I've started posting much more frequently again. I go on bits and bits and pieces on that, but at the moment you'll be able to see me post more frequently. So if you enjoyed the video, of course, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you liked about this piece of art. Of course, tell me what you think I can work on. Tell me about what I should do next. If you have any cool ideas, of course, I'll be happy to hear them because there'll be one big piece of artwork a week. All right, have a good one and good luck.